Welcome! In this video, we will show how Splashtop can streamline your IT support operations and increase productivity by automating manual IT tasks. With Splashtop remote support, whether you are a managed service provider or internal IT department, you can access, monitor, and manage your end users' computers from anywhere, anytime. We will show how you can deploy Splashtop to leverage fast and reliable remote control along with our endpoint monitoring and management capabilities to ensure your managed computers are secure, up to date, and running in top condition. Splashtop is easy to use and only requires a few steps to get up and running. The first step in using Splashtop is to install the business app on the computer that you are connecting from. To install, visit splashtop.com slash app. From here, you'll immediately see a download of our business app setup file. Run the downloaded file and you can then open and log in to the business app. If the business app does not automatically download, you can also click the corresponding link to download the business app setup file. When you first install and open the business app, you'll see a window viewing your computer list. If a computer has already been assigned to you, you'll be able to see it here. If you do not have a computer yet added to your account, it'll show that your computer list is empty. The next step is to add a remote computer that you wish to connect to. Here from the business app, you can either click the blue add remote computer button, and this will show a link that you can copy and send to the computer that you wish to connect to. If you would prefer to download directly from the computer you're connecting to, you can visit my.splashtop.com. And from here, once logged in, click the blue add computer button. From here, you'll either be prompted with an option to add this computer, where you can download your streamer deployment package, which is your streamer setup file, or you'll be prompted to add a different computer, which you can copy and send to the computer that you wish to add to your account. You can also mass deploy Splashtop on your endpoints. Deploying simultaneously on multiple computers using MSI command parameters or an RMM or MDM tool that you already use, allowing all your computers to appear on your list at once. After Streamer is installed on the computer you wish to connect to, it'll appear on your business app computer list. To connect to a remote computer, open the business app and double click on the computer name from your computer list. Once connected, you will see the remote computer screen and be able to control the computer just as if you're sitting in front of it. At the top of the window, you'll see the splash top menu bar. The menu bar shows our disconnect icon, switch monitor icon, additional multi-monitor settings, view settings, full screen mode icon, our control alt delete button, our session recording icon, our file transfer icon, our action menu, and our remote chat bar. Our view settings lets you adjust the zoom of the display, the frames per second, the quality of the session, adjust our view only settings, show and hide the remote cursor, and more. Our actions menu lets you blank the screen, lock the keyboard and mouse, and more based on your subscription type. With this, you can control and support a remote computer from anywhere, anytime. After disconnecting from your remote session, we'll take a look at our web console at my.splashtop.com. From here, you can manage the account to customize it for your needs. Going to the Management tab and going to the Users page, you can view any users on your account. You can view their access permission, which will allow you to specify which computers they can connect to.
You can view their details, such as if they have two-factor authentication enabled, when their last session, or when their last login was. And you can also invite new users from this page. Inviting a new user is as simple as entering their email and hitting send. Going back to our management tab, we'll take a look now at our computers page. From the computers page, you can view the status of any computer on your team. There's lots of options, including the option to reboot, delete, rename the computer, as well as much more. And you can also, of course, from here, access the blue Add Computer button if you wish to download Streamer on any additional computers. Next, we'll go back to the Management tab and take a look at our grouping page. From here, you can create a group where you can add and combine both users and computers to a group, which you can use to organize your computer list as well as more easily manage access permissions for multiple users. With this combination, you'll be able to use group-based access control. With group-based access control, you'll be able to specify if a user can only access a computer if they are in the same group. Creating a group is as easy as entering the name and clicking the Create Group button. And then you can assign a user or a computer to a specific group. Next, we'll take a look at our endpoint monitoring and management capabilities. These include our one-to-many actions, background actions, configurable alerts, event logs, remote command, system inventory, Windows update management, and unattended Android support. To get started, we're going to start on my.splashtop.com, hover over the management tab of our menu dropdown, and select Alert Profiles underneath Endpoint Management. From here, we'll be able to see any created alert profiles, but we'll go ahead and hover over Create Profile and click it to create a new alert profile. We'll start out by naming your alert profile, and we'll go ahead and add a couple alerts from the dropdown here. We have many options, including CPU utilization, memory usage, disk space, computer online, computer offline, and more. We'll add a couple sample alerts. And we're going to go ahead and save our alert profile. Configurable alerts allow you to create and manage alert profiles for individual computers or groups that help monitor things such as computer status, software installation, memory usage, and more. You can set up specific thresholds that will trigger the alert and you'll be notified via the web console or by email. You can also use smart actions with your configurable alert profiles. Smart actions tie together our existing one-to-many actions and our configurable alerts, allowing you to automatically trigger scripts you've created via an alert. When looking at your alert profiles, each profile can also have a smart action tied to it. The first time you enable Smart Action within an alert profile, you'll be prompted to select either Windows or Mac OS to tie Smart Actions to. After selecting your operating system, you'll be guided to the Alert Profile page, where you can continue associating Smart Actions to each alert. You can trigger actions like System Reboot, Windows Update, Remote Command, and more. With this, you can further automate your IT workflow and help mitigate user issues without having to lift a finger. You can also use one-to-many actions to run these actions on multiple computers, either at a scheduled time or manually chosen time by yourself. With one-to-many actions, you can run a single command on any computer or computer group or all of your computers all at once. We offer many action types, such as system reboot, Windows updates, file transfers, and more. This is all meant to help save you time and increase productivity for your team. Let's take a look at our computers page where we can view our background actions. With background actions, a technician can troubleshoot a client's issue without having to remote into their computer and interrupt their workflow. From the Splashtop business app or the web console, you'll take a look at your computer list, 
where you can run a variety of core Windows functions on your client's computers without having to remote in and interrupt them. To do so, I'll go ahead and I'll click the little gear icon on the right hand side of the computer list. And if I scroll down, I'll see our background actions such as Task Manager, Service Manager, Registry Editor, and Device Manager. For example, with background actions, I can open the Windows Services Manager, which will open in a new tab without connecting to the computer. And I can then view all the running services on my client's computer and change the status of these services, whether I need to pause, resume, or restart them, or whatever else I may need to help troubleshoot a user's issue. From the Management tab, we'll now take a look at our Endpoint Security feature. With our Endpoint Security feature, you can use one single dashboard to view and monitor the antivirus information of all of your computers and see easily if any threats have been detected. You can also purchase and utilize Splashtop Antivirus powered by Bitdefender to deploy, manage, and create custom antivirus policies for your endpoints right from the web console. Next, we'll take a look at some of the log types that Splashtop offers to make sure you can get all the information that you need for your team. From the top of the page, we'll simply go to our logs dropdown where we can see many log types such as sessions, file sessions and file transfer, chat sessions and chat transcripts, and more. Using our session logs, you can quickly check every session that has occurred, including when the session started, the duration of the session, and who accessed which computer from where. With our history logs, you can take a quick look at any changes that have been made to the team. Splashtop provides comprehensive system inventory reports that give you a detailed view of your IT assets, including hardware and software details. Taking a quick look at the inventory page, you can click on any computer you would like to view any of the inventory details available, including the hardware that is installed as well as the software that is installed. And you can also choose to export the system and hardware inventory or the software inventory to a CSV file. Splashtop Remote Support also offers unattended Android support, so you can connect to an unattended Android device to view or control it whenever you need, even without an end user present at the device. In addition to endpoint monitoring and management, Splashtop Remote Support also offers additional features, such as the ability to allow end user remote access to enable clients to remotely access their work computers while being managed by you. You can also get access to our SOS Lite feature, which offers limited attended support for unmanaged desktop devices without any prior installation. Splashtop Remote Support offers flexible pricing options for what is best for your team's needs, with both monthly and annual pricing packages. Pick the number of computers that you need to support and you're ready to get started. So go ahead and check it out today for free at splashtop.com slash remote dash support.